People in Florida are ready to go back to work. They say it's time to start working on reopening our state. Today, several people drove down Kennedy Boulevard in Tampa in a caravan to protest. Take a look at it here. They're demanding Governor Ron DeSantis to open the state back up, saying it's time to get the ball rolling again on our economy. The protest was one of many across the entire state that's been happening over the past couple of weeks. Residents and other states have staged protests to reopen their own states as well. Meantime, Governor Ron DeSantis says he will begin to reopen Florida when the timing is right. He doesn't want to rush into things, he says, and that's part of why he's relaxing his deadline for the task force newly created to hand in phase one of Florida's reopening until they get some feedback from residents. Originally, that plan was supposed to be turned in last week, but now it may be sometime this week. For now, Governor Ron DeSantis said he is focusing his attention on expanding testing and keeping nursing facilities and elder care facilities safe, but he says Florida is not done and, and, and he says they've kept a good job of keeping the coronavirus numbers down. I do think it's worth uh, pointing out how successful that uh, Central Florida uh, has weathered this. If you look, I remember speaking with David several weeks ago and he said, yeah, our data shows that uh, the cases peaked at the beginning of April. And we think the hospitalizations peaked a few days after that. Now, here's a quick check on what the governor just said. A look at the IHME models the White House has been using to predict COVID-19's peak across the U.S. It has been 24 days since the model's projected peak in daily deaths back on April 2nd. And on April 12th, we reached our peak for hospital resource use. We are seeing a decrease in new cases in our state. But remember, the number could spike again if we do not continue to practice social distancing once things slowly begin to reopen.